to write the name for K2Cr207, first we need to recognize that K, potassium, that's a metal. And then the Cr207, this is a polyatomic ion. It's called the dichromate ion. So we're going to use these rules here to write the name for K2Cr207. First, we write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. K, that's potassium. Next, we'll write the name for the polyatomic ion. So you've either memorized that Cr2O7 is the dichromate ion, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. So lowercase, so lowercase d, and the name for K2CrO7 is potassium dichromate. If you were given the name and asked to write the formula, you'd have to realize that the dichromate ion here is 2 minus. It has an overall ionic charge of 2 minus. And potassium is 1 plus. It's in group 1 on the periodic table. So we really need two of these potassium ions here to give us a total charge of 2 plus to balance the 2 minus out and give us a net charge of 0 for K2Cr2O7. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.